Ever wish you could live your last week all over again? Well, my name's Frank B. Parker, and I do it all the time. I work for a secret government project experimenting in time travel. When things really get screwed up, I'm the guinea pig they send back to take care of it. The catch is, I can only go back seven days. Friday fish fry. Well, you two on the back 40 with skeet guns and a bocce doesn't qualify as recreational activity. He's right, you know. Yeah, one day we'll learn. Hey, that's my three wood. It is? Everyone, last night, a small unit of U.S. Marines operating in alliance with the new Colombian government ambushed a drug convoy. Happened near Cali. They confiscated a thousand pounds of coke and seven million dollars in U.S. currency. Score one for the home team. Yeah, except for the fact that they got trapped in these mountains here. This satellite surveillance shows that they were hunted down by a death squad from the Martinez cartel. There were no survivors. All were massacred in the incident. Twelve of America's finest soldiers. So we backstab and make sure the good guys win this time. We haven't been authorized yet. You're kidding. Colombia's President Estrada is in Washington this week. He's hoping this tragic incident will encourage enough American aid to wipe out the drug cartels. The NSA supports this. So those Marines end up just 
Another bunch of martyrs? There were other ways to influence the course of history before backstep, Frank. At this point, we're simply monitoring the situation. Olga, you'll have to tell us how Estrada's speech goes. Of course. You're going to Washington. Yes, I find President Estrada truly inspiring. Uh huh? Can you bring a date to this thing? Actually, I already have one. Get out of here. His name is Darren, and he's extremely active in foreign affairs. Well, I don't think I like the sound of that. Well, it's a free country, Mr. Parker. I think it's about time I started checking up available options. Hey, I understand you gotta test drive the Hyundai before you settle on the Ferrari, which you knew you were going to be well. Not if the Ferrari turns out to be, uh, what's the term? An orange? A lemon. That's the one. Why you didn't ask me to this thing? You think I embarrass you, don't you? Yes, although you do clean up nicely. You underestimate me, Missy. I bet you I've been to a lot more Washington formals than Darwin. Darren. We hardly even know. We've been communicating. Where? On the internet? Trust me, he's 14 and wears a retainer. Okay, Mr. Nosy, if you must know, <clears throat> it's a blind date, but Bradley wow. knows him, so I'm sure he's refined and mature. I'm mature? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you busted my windshield. <laughs> You let go. You let go. Oh, you let go. You let go. You let go. No, you let go. I choked your eyeballs out. Oh, stop your good talk. Oh, no, wait. Sexy Sadie. <laughs> they always fall for the Catholic school girl look. What? What? It is my hope that this new alliance between the governments of Colombia and the United States and the cooperation of our respective federal law enforcement agencies will bring an end to the brutality of the drug cartels. He's a brave man, don't you think? He's amazing. His predecessors assassinated in broad daylight, and the first thing he does is form a task force against the cartel who did it. Champagne? Thank you. I'm certainly going to do my part to help him get his people out of those coca fields. Wonderful. And back into the cheap labor market where they belong. <clears throat> I, I beg your pardon? 
You give me five minutes with that president, and I'll have factories down there like that. The peasants will be trampling all over each other to get at those 90 cents an hour jobs. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's just that when I look into the eyes of my little daughter who is sitting right there, I feel as though I am looking into the eyes of all of Colombia's children and the children of America. And there is no time to wait. Thank you. Good day, Mr. President. Me llamo Darren Sebastian. I represent a number of very influential companies. So you're a lobbyist. <laughs> well, it's not always a dirty word. And who is this? I'm Dr. Olga Vukovic, sir, and your speech was very moving. You have got to check out this antique necklace she's wearing. I'm sorry. As am I. It's a very beautiful necklace. Now you'll excuse me. <clears throat> We'll talk. Ah, oh, Miss... Quigley. Carrie Quigley. Of course. The Department of Foreign Affairs. That's right. <laughs> Something's different. Your hair? Weight Watchers. I feel like a new person. But it's very nice to see you. And you. One more thing. The Martinez family says hello. And goodbye. If you will excuse me just for a moment. Oh, get him! Somebody get him! I'm a doctor. Let go. Did the tox report determine how the poison was administered? Well, it was hard to pin down. It could have been in a drink, the food. Trace elements were found on his lips. Okay, everybody, listen up. This is Kerry Quigley. Attaché to the U.S. Director of Foreign Affairs. The guy was killed by a secretary? Not exactly. The real Carrie Quigley was found dead in her home the day after the event. Her identity was assumed by an assassin known to the intelligence community as Sadie. She's a rogue member of the IRA suspected of killing at least 18 people. They call her Sexy Sadie. She's been known to have herself surgically altered to do some of her hits. Guess that's the end thing these days for the international hitman crowd. This time, she clearly had enough advance notice to do it to perfection. Okay, we jump now. We still have enough time to take care of this psycho Sadie check and bail out those Marines. Well, we've made a chart of what we think Sadie's movements were for the last seven days. She was holed up in a slummy part of D.C., kind of place where nobody asked too many questions. There's something else, Frank. Federal agents found a body in the apartment where we think Sadie was staying. Craig tells me that you served with him in the SEALs. He turned bounty hunter sometime after Somalia. He's got into six of the FBI's top ten. Uh -huh. You're not worried about right now, are you, Frank? No. Why would I be? Well, because he's the only guy in the history of the unit with a higher tolerance for pain than you. So? And he made a personal mission out of kicking the crap out of you every day in the seals. Actually, it was the other way around. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. All right, well, I steer clear, Frank. Doesn't look like he's shrunk any of the last ten years. Well, thanks for the advice. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Parker, um, I've been thinking, if this mission goes as planned, would you go with me to the speech in the new timeline? Guy turned out to be a real creep, huh? A pig. Isn't there one little problem, say, um, you blowing me off again? Oh, I already thought of that. Um, give this to me. It's a note to myself telling myself to believe you. I'd feel better if it were notarized. I thought about that too, but uh, there wasn't time, so, uh... All teams, final stage. All teams, final stage. Anybody else got anything from the last seven days they want undone? Yeah, fix my damn car! Reactor at 
Take me on this. Oh, God! Oh, I remember that, Joe. Yeah? And I remember kicking your ass all the way through SEAL training at Corona. Uh, actually, it was the other way around. Oh, really? See, because I remember it this way. Oh. Just like old times, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Sorry. No problem. Look. You really gotta let me handle Sadie, okay? Oh, yeah, no problem. I'll just, um, go for some yeah. coffee and crullers while you collect the hundred thousand. Hundred chiefs? <coughs> oh, baby needs a new pair of shoes. <coughs> oh! Oh! <coughs> oh! I know you've been dragging Sadie for months. You got in the DC last night. You want a dirt beater, 71 Buick Sabre in a car game at the airport. And you've been hanging out all morning eating chili burritos and drinking Mexican beer across the street. That's pretty damn good intel. Thank you. I also know if you go in there right now, you're gonna die. Oh, really, Madam Parker? You can also tell me when I'm gonna meet my true love, huh? Well, I can take a guess based on your bread. Oh, my Don't you ever show up. Look, I know. I could care less if you live or die under most circumstances. The feeling is mutual. But I don't want to be the one who has to haul your oversized carcass out of this pit. All I'm asking is you let me go through that door first. <sighs> After you. Kong. She probably heard us. Hey, I would have had her if you hadn't showed up and cramped my style. What style? Using my head as a battering ram isn't style. Yeah. Crap, nice goal. See you scared her off. She's mine, Parker. No! Head, Frank. Some Marines are gonna get into big trouble when they hit a Colombian drug convoy outside of Cali tonight, and... The President of Colombia has been targeted for hit while he's in Washington. I'm at the assassin's apartment, but, uh, I just lost her. Her? Yeah, pretty little thing. Goes by the name of Sexy Sadie. You need backup? No, I think I can take care of Sadie on my own. I know where she's going next. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You do? Actually, I could use somebody to pick up this pain-in-the-ass bounty hunter who's on my back. We've got your location. I'm on it right away. Tell Donovan the bounty hunter's Rhino Reinhardt. Tell him I kicked his ass. 
That's a damn lie. Don't worry, Rhino. Somebody will be by to pick you up before dinner time. I remember how cranky you get. It's an over, Parker! It is for you, you lucky son of a bitch. So yeah, you got some pretty good intel, so uh, I'm gonna let you tag along on this one. Oh, you know, let me tag along. Oh, okay, I'll cut you in for 10%, all right? Oh, no! Look, you cannot take down a customer like Sadie alone. You need me. I need you like I need another ex-wife. Oh, Parker, that didn't work out? Maybe it's because you got sewage on your face. Drive. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Lucky I don't mind the smell of crap. I haven't seen President Estrada in over a year, of course. But he's such a good man. Men are not good, honey. That's why there's clothes. Well, anyway, I want to make a really good impression. I'd like to work in Colombia someday. Make a difference. I'd like to work in Colombia someday. Make a difference. Kind of pookie in the back. I got a tip Sadie's picking up a dress from here for the function tomorrow. She could be in there right now. You get a promise. You follow my lead, okay? Yeah, 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 I promise. Okay. I said I promise! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm looking for something for my wife, something, uh, dressy. Well, uh... Yeah, it's her birthday, and, uh, I really wanted to surprise her. I figured I'd, uh... That's not dressy, sir. Uh, please, don't... don't. Rhino, what did I tell you about staying in the car? Look what oh. I got, Parker. I guess the drinks are on me. Oh. 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 What the hell is going on? I'm with the NSA, don't move. I work for the government, too. My name is Quigley. I'm with Foreign Affairs. No scars? She's the real one. What? Too dangerous, Frank. I'm gonna try and convince Washington to call off Estrada's speech. Oh, we do that. City's still out there, so we'll get to him eventually, you know. This is our last chance to stop that from happening for good. Then I'm sending a unit to help you. Well, just Donovan, okay? He can keep an eye on Carrie Quigley, make sure Sadie doesn't get to her this time, and, uh... Please, don't send anyone else. I've had way too much help already. Right. GM product, Rhino. You're only hurting yourself. Yeah, well, I feel like hospital food. Stupid beat, no son of a bitch, because I'm gonna break your neck when I get out of here. Open! We Parker, open this! Open the truck now! What are you doing here? Well, nice to see you too. I'm on the guest list, remember? Where's Donovan? Right behind me. Look, Olga, you're not going. It's too dangerous. Mr. Parker, I have every confidence in you and the added security. Yeah, well, me too, and you're still not going, okay? And that's it. You amaze me, you know that? Why? What? Why what? Come on. Admit it. You don't want me to go out with Darren, right? All right, I didn't want to get into this right now, but since you brought it up... 
Maybe she read this. This is good. I especially like the parts where you call him pig. You called him that. That is not a word I would use. Well, maybe it was a really bad date. Mr. Parker, this is so obviously a forgery. At the very least, I would have had it notarized. <sighs> You're right. You're right. You had a great time. I got jealous. Go again. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? What was what? Whatever this crap. There's somebody in your trunk. No, there isn't. Damn it, someone let me out. Oh, you don't want to do that. <clears throat> well, thanks a lot, pal. Uh -oh. Well, I don't know which is more refreshing, uh, the air or uh, you. Oh, I suppose this is your Mr. Reinhardt. Actually, everyone calls him Rhino. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the guy I must have used to call Dmit doesn't as a Viet menya a tour. Spasiba. So how do you know I'm Russian? I seem to have a natural ear for that sort of thing. Hmm. And you are? Please, call me Olga. Donovan. Listen, I got a security team with Gary Quigley right now, but uh, to be honest with you, I'd feel a lot safer if you kept an eye on yourself. Hey, no, come on. thing we do is that... <laughs> good to see you, man. You look good. What are you doing hanging out with this man still? Oh, boy. You two love birds about done because we got some work to do. Good day, man. Okay. All right, hot shot. You can stand down. The A-team arrived. Let's get this show on the road. Nothing I could do, man. Nothing I could do. No, totally wrong, chicken head. You need more men up front in the crowd. And I say a stronger up front presence is going to make Sadie think twice. You say tomato. Look, I've been doing ops since the peanut farmer was present. Yeah, and you couldn't even keep a lid on his head, brother. Now, Billy was not my assignment. Sneaky little beer belly. You know what, Ramsey? You're right. You're right. The additional security here is your baby, so freaking out, just go stake out Sadie's. Yeah, you know, Donovan's right. You take over here. We'll check out Sadie's. Wait a minute. What makes you so sure she's going back to that apartment? Well, we don't. It's a long shot, but hey, someone's got to do it. Bull! You don't play long shots, not on a back step. You both know she's going back there. That's what your buddy Rhino thinks, too. What the hell does he know? Well, he's been tracking her for three months. Yeah, and I come from seven days in the future. Who do you think has the better intel, huh? <laughs> Huh, a little reverse psychology, huh? Oh, God. I'm staking out Sadie. Nate. No! No, no, I'm on to both of you. Wherever Sadie's going, that's where the real horsepower needs to be. And you two sly dogs have just told me everything I need to know. Fine. Donovan, Rhino and I can handle things here, okay? No, forget it. Rhino's coming with me. No way, you can't have Rhino too. Oh, yes, I can. He's the only one talking straight to me anyway, and it's about time I partnered up with a pro. Let's go. But I was winning. No way in hell Sadie's going anywhere near that apartment, is there? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, settle down. You're staying here until this thing's wrapped up. You don't stop me. Now you're jealous of Arthur. Don't call him that. His mother doesn't even call him that. You saw us playing Go Fish, and you couldn't take it. Go, go Fish? You're playing Go Fish? Yes. Not every card game has to be about betting. Look, I don't want you to go because I don't want anything to happen to you, okay? Uh, tell me again how Estrada was killed. Poison. It could have been in a drink and a handshake. Or in a kiss? I guess so. So, um, unless something unexpected happens between me and sexy Sadie, I, um... Uh, I think I'll be all right. Fish.
Anything? Nah, no, she's not gonna show. Oh, no, she's gonna be here. You can count on her. God. Well, what makes you so sure? Because when Parker says go one way, you go the other. Wait a second. Parker doesn't think Sadie's coming back? No, he doesn't think that, but he wants me to think that he thinks that. I'm gonna go check it out. No, wait, wait. Oh, don't eat that. Relax, Columbo. Nothing's moved since the last time. Look, let's get out of here. Look, Parker was right. She's not coming back. All right, step away from the sushi slowly. Oh, my God. Now, look, mister. You are going back down to your post now. And we can do this one of two ways. We can do this nice and easy, or we can do it nice and rough. Is that a fact? Donovan. Hey. Sorry, I, uh... Couldn't get you an escort, that was a little more butch. No, oh, well, at least I know the difference between an attaché and an assassin. Yeah, you know, I wanted to apologize again for yesterday, yeah. It's okay, Mr. Parker. I just hope you catch her. The whole thing is so creepy. We'll get her. Stay in touch. I'll be here if you see anything, okay? Mr. Sebastian is running late. He'll meet you there. Oh, and he sent you the flowers. Oh, how nice. Hi. Daryl, right? Darren. Yeah. So, uh, tell me. Where's your date, Daryl? I got a call saying she'd meet me here. Yeah, Parker. Hi, Parker. Who's this? Carrie Quigley. The other one. Sadie. So, uh, you going to this party or not? I, uh, saved the place via my dance card and everything. I'd rather you come outside. Sorry, I can't do that. Oh, I think you can. I think you better. See, I've been watching you and your friends. And right now, one of them, whom I suspect may be more than just a friend, could really use your help. Here's how it works. She's wired and I've got a remote detonator. If I get any indication that someone's trying to interfere with my business, I'll push my little button. Where is she? In a limousine up the drive. Better hurry. Everything okay? Listen, I gotta go outside. If I'm not back in five minutes, call the bomb squad. Should we shut this place down? Not yet. Nathan Ramsey, Special Projects. Parker, tell this guy who I am. He's an escaped mental patient. Lock him up. You bastard! Not now, Rhino. Hey, what makes you think you can keep sidestepping me on this, huh? Sadie's got Olga. Where? Come on. Olga, hold on, don't, uh, worry. What the hell we got here? Ah, oh boy, tripwires. Yeah, Olga, listen, um, just nod or shake your head. Are the windows rigged? <laughs> Get your skinny ass up here, Parker. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> it is my hope that this new alliance between the governments of Colombia and the United States and the cooperation of our respective federal law enforcement agencies will bring an end to the brutality of the drug cartels. Ow! Don't move. I wasn't planning on it. Here, use these. Thanks. Carry wire cutters? You got a blowtorch in the trunk. You never know. Whatever does it for you. We got you, Ogre. Right. Don't screw that, Parker. Careful, Rhino. Okay. Your hands come apart. We're screwed. Let's not do that, then. All right. One hand at a time. Right one first. We got you. Nice and easy. We got you. Easy. You got it? Okay. okay. Good. Oh, my God. Okay. Easy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now the left. This is it. Good work. You got it? Yeah. Let's get this thing out here. Okay. Okay, now slip your hands out carefully. You're free. Go. Go, 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 go. Run like hell. Good. Rhino? Yeah. She's got a robot. Ah, oh, figures. But I do not have the patience for that. It is a fault of mine, as my wife would tell you. It's just that when I look into the eyes of my little daughter who's sitting right there... Hi. Oh, her eyes, you've got a bit of chocolate. No, I am looking into the eyes of all of Colombia's children and the children of America. There. Perfect. There is no time to wait. Thank you. was not fighting fair. <laughs> Too late, Ramsey. We're ready to put the fire out. You're having drank. You're just hilarious. <laughs> Arthur Reinhardt, I'm Bradley Talmadge. Oh, the big man. My buddy here said you might want to talk to me. Another aspect of this mission involved a unit of U.S. Marines and a substantial sum of Colombian drug money that they recovered. I've convinced the Pentagon that you should be remunerated for your help. Well, well, well. A hundred thousand dollars. Thank you very much. For God's sakes. Hey, what am I, chopped liver? What do I get? The hearty thanks of a grateful nation. Dreamed, my friend. <laughs> Give me that bottle. 
best one was hell week. Two nights sleep in five days, and we're out there doing that drill, pushing that log up that hill in the rain. <laughs> 600 pounds of steam, and Frank is in the mud, pushing the thing. <laughs> and he's stretching, man, he's stretching, yelling at him. Hey, you gonna ask for help, soldier? And I swear to God, this is what I really started hating you, man. You turned to him and you said, I don't need help, Sarge. I don't need anybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, let me see if I got this straight. The whole reason you're kicking my ass every day is because I didn't ask you for help. Man, a lone wolf in the seals is a real liability. You don't play well with others, the whole unit's in jeopardy. That's true, Frank, man. Everybody hated that about you. Who asked for your opinion? I'm <laughs> just telling you like it to happen. <laughs> Yeah, well, all right. Well, I admit, I needed you guys today. Man. That's right, and we got the job done. Yeah, didn't we? Hardly had to kick your ass at all. Oh, man, why you say that? Uh, oh, that's it. All right, come on. Come on, Redwood. All right. I'll be right back. Let's settle this thing once and for all. All right, one more time for old time's sake, right? Yep, don't rush me. Okay? Get the first shot. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Ah! All right, okay. I guess that pretty much squares things away. Oh, you think so, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about in the car with the bomb? Oh, uh, what about Yeah, that? hold this. Okay. Ah! Yeah! Ah!